Hey people, this is the Phoenix. Back to do another energy update for the sign of Scorpio. Just keep in mind these are general readings. They're not going to resonate for all of you. But for the ones that it does resonate for, please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below. This is going to be for the Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs of Scorpio. For those of you that would like to have a personal reading done, the description box has all the information. Alright, so let's see what is coming through for you guys today. Okay, so releasing soul patterns, contracts and past lives. Oh, I'm sorry about the glare, guys. Uh, yeah. So, it would seem that there is something that you have to let go of. Something from your past. You may be going through some karmic cycles. Some of you may be dealing with a Sagittarius. Because on yesterday, Sagittarius was actually clearing out some karma themselves. You go first, the universe will catch up. So it's time for you guys to um, kind of take risks. Take a leap of faith in a new direction. You're already doing it. Continue facing north. So, you're already making changes in your life as regards to a karmic situation or a karmic person. Trust your intuition. Trust your instinct. Because there is some type of tower that is about to happen. So, it's either you are going to be the actual tower happening or it could be a situation that is going to definitely come upon you surprisingly. You need to trust your instinct about it. You also need to trust the universe and know that whatever it is is not serving you, you need to let it go now. Alright, so let's see what is happening here. As regards to the tarot for you guys. Spirit messages for my collectors to the sign of Scorpio. Some of you could possibly be in a third party situation. Alright, so there is something that is not bringing any, how do I put it, your patience is running out with someone or a situation. You're, you no longer have the time or you're no longer willing to put any work or effort into letting go of something. Could be dealing with an Aries for some of you, but this person doesn't like taking control of the situation. They're very controlling, but they never take charge or take control of any type of situation. Their word is final. This energy feels like a contradiction. They want you to do what it is they say, but what it is they're saying doesn't make any sense. Yeah, so you have a, a lot of options right now or you're very confused as to what to do in a situation. For those of you that this is confusion, you're not sure what to believe. You're not sure who to believe. But the universe is about to bring about some type of karmic justice. So... Even though if you do not believe one of these parties or both of these parties or you do not believe that 
you need to release them. The universe is definitely going to bring something to you. It is going to be surprising, but you're about to find out something. Or you recently found out something. Yeah. You didn't want to walk away from a situation. Although you were emotionally unfulfilled, you didn't want to walk away. And you got yourself in a third party situation. It's either you're in a third party or your person made you a third party. But you were focusing on partying and drinking way too much. Not observing your surroundings, not observing your relationship. Because you felt comfort comfortable with this person. This is the Ten of Cups. So you have home and family life with this person and you want to hold on to that. So although they treated you like an option or they gave you a lot of mixed signals, you kept believing that the family was a unit and that things will work out eventually. <clears throat> but it's not working, is it? The more you try to foster this connection and keep this connection going and keep your beliefs up, the more you're realizing that this family unit is not what it appears to be. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn, female for some of you. But this person doesn't care anymore about holding on to this family. They definitely don't care about you. They don't see that putting their effort and their energy into you is worth their while. So they're lying, they're manipulating, they're running around. You can't get clear clarity. There is no communication between you and this person. This person lies a lot. And you feel stuck because you believe in the home and the family unit. You believe that things will work out eventually. So you're keeping yourself stuck. For the sake of the kids, for the sake of your home life, but what you really want is stability, a brand new beginning, something that is stable, something that is grounded, something that will bring you a lot of happiness and a lot of growth. That is where your restlessness is coming in. Because while this person is acting like they don't care, you're trying to have a new beginning, become more stable, have the situation become more stable. Yeah. But you feel betrayed by this person. If it hasn't happened yet, you're about to find out something that will give that will make you feel like giving up. It's going to hurt really badly but you're trying to let go of control you're hoping that everything can and will work itself out eventually could be a Capricorn you're dealing with for some of you but you're ignoring or you're trying to ignore the toxicity in the connection you know you don't love this person you know that you are on emotionally unavailable to this person you know that this person could never be your person but you keep holding on you want to move forward with them but they don't see it as an option But you are going to move to calm our waters eventually. You're going to have you're going to be placed in a situation where you're going to be forced to move forward. Because there is no more love in this connection. No one apologizes to the other for the things that they do. No one wants to wave the white flag in this connection and try to work on things. 
and you both know you're not in love with each other and you both know that there is nothing to hold on to yet still you're holding on for some of you you may have material assets with this person and that is what you're holding on to but there is no equal give and take in this situation there is no abundance in this situation you're just going through a cycle over and over again with this person and I think you're reaching to your wits end mm -hmm. you're ready for change you're ready for transformation you're ready to change you but I'm not too sure that this person will like the new you could be a Gemini Libra or Aquarius you're dealing with but it's you or the person you're dealing with, somebody is coming across really cold. Somebody is using a strategic move on the other. Somebody here is ready to cut out what is not serving them. For some of you, could be an Aries Leo or Sag you're dealing with, but somebody is playing a lot of games. A lot of manipulation. A lot of back and forth. The person that you're connecting to only wants what is in what is in their best interest. They don't care how you feel. You're trying not to be too defensive and you're trying not to come across as a bitch. <clears throat> but you're also doing a lot of deep contemplation and thinking. You're looking back on the past and you're realizing that this is not this person's first indiscretion in the connection. And if you're in a third party as well, you're going to realize that it's not your first time either. There is no passion, there is no love, there is no connectivity between you and this person. But you still hold on. You hold on for the sake of the family. Mm-hmm. But things are becoming more than you could handle. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius or you could have it in your chart. But something is not balancing out. You don't have the zeal, the zest or the motive to try to keep healing this connection anymore. Your heart is broken. It's shattered. There is definitely third party energy here. So it could be you are in a third party, your person is in a third party, or you both could be in a third party at this point in time. But this relationship has gone too far. And it's time for you to let go of it. Yeah, you felt betrayed by this person, ultimately betrayed. You're hurt, you want revenge. I get that. But you're also, you're also overindulging in something. Could be sex, could be alcohol. But you're trying to get your wishes fulfilled. But this person is not helping you along the way and they are not interested in, in having anything with you. This is definitely not a singles reading. This is someone that is in a relationship. Yeah. You're being selfish with your time, your attention, your love, your money. Because you're ready for this marriage or this long-term commitment to be over. Because you're ready to travel towards someone very quickly. So for you, there is someone else that is involved in this equation that you want to be with. So it would seem that you're hoping that your person you're in a connection with will leave. Because you're tired of the games. You're tired of the third party. You're tired of trying to fix things with this person. You just want to be happy. You just want to have your wishes fulfilled. Yeah. Very soon you're going to make a decision to stop juggling between two things. Two people. Because you're tired of the lies, you're tired of the deception, you're tired of the sneaking around. 
and you're tired of carrying this whole relationship on your own. You're ready to break this connection. You're ready to give up on this commitment. If it's not you, it's your person. But somebody is ready to walk away from this. Somebody no longer believes that it is in their best interest to hold on to this connection and keep going around any circle you both have been going around in for some time. So some of you could be married to this person or you might have children with this person or both. But there is someone else that you see a better future with. Or they see someone else that they see a better future with. Mm -hmm. hmm. Interesting. Yeah, so there is definitely third party presence here. You have someone that you think has more money than the other. Then there is someone that you're in a relationship with or a long-term commitment, a husband. You're married to one of these people or in some type of long-term commitment with one. And you're waiting for some type of sign or some type of something before a divorce could happen or a separation could happen. But you are currently communicating with someone else or you want to send a message to someone else. This reading is a messy reading. But, Scorpio, if you're waiting for your person to let go and they are waiting for you to let go, this is a never-ending game of nonsense. Alright, so this is what I have for you guys. I hope it does help. Have a good one.